Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, we're gonna be creating a vellum card using Wow Fab Foil. I've got this gorgeous hot pink foil. It's like metallic pink, it's absolutely stunning. And I'm gonna be using it with this gorgeous background stamp from Gina K Designs. Now, I haven't used the stamp before, so when we remove it from the packaging, I'm just gonna stamp it off a couple of times with Versamark and then some Versafine Onyx Black ink, just to make sure that it's stamping okay, that there's no blemishes at all. And sometimes you get a little bit of residue from the factory, so this is just a great way of ensuring that you remove all of that before you then go and stamp it on your project. So uh, I've been stamping it off to the side of me on some scrap paper, and I'm just gonna give one final impression now with the black ink. And as you can see, when I remove it, it's stamped beautifully. So it's a really gorgeous stamp. So now the stamp's primed, I'm just gonna get the fab foil out and I'm just gonna make sure that I've got a sufficient amount of foil to cover my card front. Now the vellum card base that I've made today, I had a piece of A4 vellum. I cut it lengthways down the middle and then I scored it. So it works out to a UK A6 card size. I then just trimmed it a little bit more just so that the stamp fit nicely on it. The stamp's just slightly smaller than six inches, so I wanted to make sure that the stamp would fit along the full length of the card. So I'm just trimming the foil there using my long bladed Tim Holtz scissors. It's really easy to cut the foil with scissors so you won't have any problems trimming the foil down. And then once I'm sure that I've got enough to cover my card front, I'm then going to go and ink the stamp up. And to do this we're using a tacky glue. I'm using the indigo blue flitter glue today and I've got a little piece of foam. Um, this is their fat foam and it works fabulously with this product. Now there are other tacky glues on the market. I have seen comments on some of my videos that people are having problems getting the glue to work. I highly recommend the indigo blue glue. It's the only one I've tried, but I've never had an issue getting a, a crisp impression the first time round. I've certainly not had any issues with the foil or gilding flakes sticking, and it's just an all round brilliant product. So all I've done is I've used um, the sponge, basically we're turning it into an ink pad. If you've seen my videos before, you'll know how we do this, but we just add a little bit of the glue to the sponge, rub it in with a palette knife so that you've created an ink pad. So then I'm just gonna ink up my stamp now as if I was using ink. You just wanna make sure that you've got really good coverage because you only get one go at this. If you mess it up, you've gotta start again. So I'm making sure that I've got nice even pressure all over my stamped image and I'm working quick so the stamp doesn't stick to the vellum. And then I've peeled it off and you can see we've got a really lovely crisp impression there. Of course, you could work on a stamping platform if you prefer, but I think it's easier to use acrylic blocks. Now I did go ahead and wash my stamp straight away in warm soapy water and I did just allow a minute or two for the tacky glue just to dry on the vellum. It really doesn't take long because you're using such a thin layer of glue. And now I'm just lining the foil up carefully along the vellum front, making sure that it's nice and smooth and got good contact with the vellum. I'm gonna then do the same with the other piece of foil, again, just making sure it's as smooth as possible and then rubbing that on with my fingers. Now, to get the best impression with foil, I do find that you need to use your die cutting machine. If you don't have one, you can use your fingers to apply pressure all over the vellum and the foil, but to get a really crisp foiled impression, using a die cutting machine to add pressure really just enhances it and gives it more of a hot foil look. So I've got my base plate, my thin die adapter, a homemade shim, which is just a bit of a cutout of a cereal box, a cutting plate, and then I'm placing the foiled vellum inside and adding my cutting plate on the top and then I'm just running that through my die cut machine just once and you can see when you take it out the impression of the stamped image so you know you've got a really good impression. I'm then just going to carefully peel the foil back off the vellum and you'll be able to see the absolutely gorgeous revealed foiled image. It really is stunning and I think this is my favourite part just taking the foil off and just seeing that wow factor. It just never ceases to amaze me how pretty it looks. Remember these scraps of foil are not really scraps, there's still lots of foil that we can use on there so pop them to one side and look at that shimmer, it's just so gorgeous. I think this hot pink foil is just absolutely stunning. So you can see I've not quite lined it up perfectly with the edge of my vellum but that's okay, we can just trim the uh, card front down a little bit more and then if you find that you've missed anywhere at all you can just go back in with the foil. Uh, for example I've missed a little bit in the top left um, of that flower there. 
Um, but sometimes you'll find that you've just missed it with the glue, so the foil's not going to stick. If there is still glue there, then of course the foil, you'll probably be able to transfer a little bit more foil, but I really wouldn't worry about those tiny small bits. It's a handmade card after all, so yeah, we're just going to trim off the excess there, and I'm just going to make it four inches wide now. Uh, so I've just trimmed off an eighth of an inch, and I just did slithers from either side. And then I'm trying to work out, do I want a white card base in the middle, or do I want a pink? And I decide to go ahead with the white card panel. So I'm just trimming that down so that it matches the size of the vellum card base that I've created. I'm not using heavyweight vellum, I'm just using the vellum that I've got in my stash. I will link it in the description box below. But if you'd used a heavier weight vellum, you wouldn't necessarily need a full size card insert to make the card stand up. But I'm just using what I've got in my stash today. Now we're going to need to be able to insert that card blank inside the vellum and we're going to need to be able to hide the adhesive. So in order to do that, I'm cutting a couple of matte layers. I'm cutting two panels of white cardstock that measure three by four and then two panels of metallic pink cardstock that matches the foil in three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I'm going to have one insert for the middle where we can write our message and one insert for the back to hide adhesive. Now I do decide that in the centre of the card I'm going to come back in with that gorgeous stamp and I'm going to just stamp it in some grey ink just so that we've got a subtle pattern to the inside of that card. I just felt that adding a white insert with the hot metallic pink it was just going to be a lot of white going on in the middle so I just kind of felt this would break it up and it would just kind of tie the card together. So I'm using this Versafine Claire Morning Mist ink and I'm just inking up my stamp. Now I'm going to stamp it off to the side of me on a scrap of paper because it's quite a dark grey and then I'm going to do the second generation stamp inside the card. Now I'm only really worried about the edges being crisp because the insert's going to go over the middle. So once I've done that I'm then just going to allow that pigment in to dry and I'm going to glue these two panels together and I'm just using liquid glue to do that. I've got cosmic shimmer glue in those little mini glue bottles but of course you could use double-sided tape or a tape runner if that's what you prefer but I do like the fact that using liquid glue just gives you a little bit of time to make sure those layers are nice and straight with even borders. I'm then going to glue one of those inserts inside the white card panel and then line it up inside the vellum and now we're going to use that other insert and we're going to stick it onto the vellum. So I folded the card flat, I'm working out where I want my placement to be and then I'm just going to add double sided adhesive tape all over the back of that. I'm using red line tape which is really strong tape and I really don't want this to come off so I'm adding lots of it and then I'm just using my long bladed scissors just to cut the tape. So next I'm going to remove the backing tape from the red line tape and I'm just going to pop that panel to one side while we make sure that all the layers are lined up nicely. You want to make sure that they're nice and even, that nothing's sticking out and then you can go ahead and stick that panel on the vellum. Then you're going to be able to open it up and now we can add adhesive all over that panel and then stick that to the white card plank. Now I do lose a little bit of footage in a moment, but all I do is once I've added all the red line tape, I remove the backing tape, make sure that white card panel is nice and straight, and then I'm gonna flip it over and it will, it will stick. So that's what's gonna hold the card in place. So just remove all the tape and then it's stuck down by just folding it over basically. And there you can see we've got our card panel now and it stands up nicely. Now the vellum is kind of curling around a little bit on the front but we're going to be able to remedy that when we add our sentiment. I'm using that petite geranium stamp set from Gina K Designs and I've got three strips of cardstock. I'm just checking the measurement on my card again and I'm going to trim all of these strips down to four inches. So the hot pink one is one and a half inches, the black is one and a quarter inches wide and the white panel is one inch wide and they're all four inches long and I'm just going to stamp that thanks a million sentiment on the white cardstock using Versafine Onyx Black ink. I'm then going to use liquid glue just to stick all of these layers together and then I'm going to add some red line tape to the back of it so that we can attach that to our card front because again we're sticking it on vellum so the um, red line tape is just better for sticking card to vellum. And I just think this is a really fun way of using vellum in your card making, using foil and just creating a card that's just a little bit different with a little bit of a wow factor. I really think adding foil, gilding flakes and bossing powders, they really just enhance card making. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to remove all that backing tape there, attach that sentiment down to the bottom. And then I've got this die cut butterfly. This butterfly die is from Alina Crafts. Again, I'm just going to pop a tiny bit of red line tape on the back and then stick that just above the sentiment, 
just hide that little patch of foil that's not quite perfect. And as you can see, adding that sentiment to the bottom has really weighed the vellum down, so it stopped some of that curling. And that is the finished card for today. So thank you so much for joining me, as always. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave me a like by hitting that thumbs up button. Please don't forget to leave me a comment as well. I enjoy reading all the comments that are left for me. And if you've not subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.